so today I'm up in South Yorkshire and I'm at a place called Langset Reservoir and hopefully I can camp down by the river but I've not been up here for a while so I'm not sure that the ground's going to be any good so I have got a plan B if required always have a plan B <laughs> sorry shadow from the sun but it's ever so pretty here Tell you what, it's a lot colder today and definitely a lot colder tonight than it was last weekend. I'm sorry, Zena's not with me this weekend because it's just going to be too cold tonight. Uh, it's going to be about minus five, so yeah, it's not really fair on her. So you just got me to put up with. <laughs> How's that for a widow maker then? You wouldn't want that falling on you, would you? It's like half a tree, that. Anyway. We're about here. This is where I want to camp, down here somewhere. I'll bring you back in a bit. guys. Nice spot, huh? Oh, I got a fucking wet foot, didn't I? I tried to cross. It looked like it was doable. That last stone, that big one there, that one, it was a wobbler and it sent me backwards. You bastard. Hmm. Luckily, I've got some spare dry socks. So, I think this is my spot for tonight. Pretty nice view, maybe you agree? The time's about quarter past seven, so I reckon it's time to get the tent up. It'll be dark about eight. See you a bit. So, tent's all set up now. Um, I have to say, this is the first time when I thought, oh, maybe I've set up my tent a bit too early because two people have just walked past. Oops. <laughs> uh, never mind. Tear up there, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll take you for a little look around camp. Okay, scarf one. It's a thing of beauty, isn't it? Sorry, I should be showing you the scenery. I'm showing you the tent. <laughs> but it is a very pretty tent. I think it's the symmetry and the nice clean lines that make it appealing to the eye. 
That's just the scenery. How's that for a view? Nice, huh? So for dinner tonight, I have a duck in plum sauce. So I uh, I didn't transport it in this foil tray. I folded it flat, which is why it's got a hole in it. Look, <laughs> um, but yeah. So I've got the simmer ring on. I don't know if this is going to work, but I hope it's going to work. Um, so yeah, I've got duck in there. And in there, I've got some tender stem broccoli and green beans. And I've also got some powdered mashed potato. So, duck and plum sauce, greens, mash. Hopefully, this will work. We'll see. <laughs> I'll tell you what, as soon as that sun's gone down, it is cold. I reckon it's got to be about three degrees at the moment. Um, it was quite warm during the day when th with the sun out, it was probably about 12 degrees, but uh, yeah, it's cold now. I think I did the right thing not to bring Zena. I don't think she'd have been happy with me. She'd have <laughs> looked at me like, why are you bringing me here? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, good minus four, I reckon. We'll see. It should be uh, quite frosty in the morning, especially down here in the valley. Right, so the duck's had about half an hour now. Um, I think it's about ready. Mm, look at that. Go. So, oh, what I'm going to do now is get the beans boiling and put that on top so it keeps warm. And uh, yeah, bring you back in a little bit. Okay, so I think we're about ready. Duck and plum sauce, tender stem broccoli, green beans, and mashed potato. Probably should have brought some salt and pepper and butter for the mash, but never mind. Live and learn. Still quite chuffed with that. For a trangier, you can't do that on a jet boil. Sorry, guys. But trangier's rule. <laughs> I had to bring you back to say this has got to be one of the best camping meals I've ever had. <laughs> I mean, if that doesn't look fit, <laughs> I don't know what does for a camping meal. That is a good effort. So it's about 10 o'clock now and I've had my dinner and had a, a Snickers for pudding and I'm going to chill out and probably put some ink on the Kindle, go to sleep the sound of the river. Of coffee. <laughs> That's my, uh, my view. Not bad. Morning. So slept all right last night. To be honest, I think I got a good about seven hours sleep. Um, I did have a really weird dream <laughs> um, that sort of wake me up. That so a couple of people had come past my tent in the middle of the night. Um, and that I had a second tent, because as you do in a dream, that makes perfect sense. Um, and they were sort of like stood outside this second tent and about to, to go in, not realising that I could see them. So um, I woke up from this dream and thinking it was real, like coughed quite loudly um, to kind of try and deter them and then realised that I was dreaming. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was interesting. It took me a little while to you know, convince my brain that it was all just a dream and everything was fine. Um, but yeah, other than that, slept really well. Time's about 20 past seven, so time to get a groove on, get packing. I've had my coffee and uh, yeah, I shall bring you back in a little bit. My trainers might have uh, 
frozen. Um, that one's all right. Okay, that's this is what you should normally do. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it was worse last night. I brought them in about one o'clock. I woke up, so uh, as you can see, it has started to defrost a bit because it was rock hard. It was rock hard last night. And you put this uh, hot hand in there just to get them defrosting before I set off. Well, my shoes are, are defrosted now, so that's all right. Put those back on. Um, I couldn't face putting wet socks on, um, so I've got I've got two layers. <laughs> these were my bedtime socks, and these are my waterproof socks. Which um, I've swapped socks as well. So that was the one that got wet yesterday. So it's on the other on the other foot. So I've got equally <laughs> cold, wet feet. <laughs> but it shouldn't be too bad because these are synthetic, so they don't really take on much water. Yeah, yeah. all packed up in the tent. Bags ready to go. So just get the tent down and then I just stick it on the outside. Cause nice and easy. Ooh, what is cold? <laughs> Palmer wants me to go in in there. I've just recorded it, but it didn't record, so I'm now I'm going to have to do it again and then come back again. So that's five toes just for you guys. So I hope you appreciate this. Um, and wishing you luck. I noticed this on my way past yesterday, so I'm going to quickly go down there and tidy that up because it's a right mess. And it's the only fire mark around there, to be honest. So, not, not bad. Put that one in my bag. Look at these rocks. this on.
discourage some people from having a fire here. See, there's lots of moorland around, so it's not a good idea to have fires around here any time of year. So I thought I'd give you a quick look at the reservoir. I'm not going to walk all the way along it because I'm it's the opposite direction from where I want to go. You can see how low it is though. So I've never seen it this low. This this bank sort of come in here. Uh, it's much lower than Lady Bower, which is strange. I don't know why that would be. You'd think that uh, we've had similar levels of rainfall, so I don't know. <laughs> Right, back at the car, um, time's about half nine and uh, might go and get some Mackeys. <laughs> might just do that and uh, get on the way home. So I hope you've enjoyed this camp. Thank you for all your support by the way. Um, I hit 1000 subscribers this weekend. I know when this video gets released it'll be in a couple of weeks but um, but this weekend I hit the 1000 subscriber milestone so thank you so so much for for all your support I'm just I'm blown away to be honest I, I totally wasn't expecting it um, I'd set myself um, a goal to reach a thousand subs in a year um, I thought yeah, that's realistic maybe slightly optimistic so I totally wasn't expecting to reach it in just under three months so thank you and uh, if you haven't already done so <laughs> please do subscribe and hit that notification button and the like and comment and share and do all of those things because it really helps my channel grow and the more I grow I will put out better content so yeah keep it coming guys and I will keep it coming <laughs> bye